All amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to CodePipe. We are designing the backend for our e-commerce Django website. In previous video, we have seen how to make a search and how to sort our category page. In this video, we will see how to make use of filter on our category page. So let's get started. This is our web page. If we go on all category, and basically this is applicable for men and women as well. I am using all category page because we will have more than one sub category and I will be able to show much better usage of this filter. So let's understand this filter first. What all we will be sending through filter will be sub category that can be a single sub category or multiple sub categories. Then we will have price that will be minimum price and maximum price like a range. Then we will have color what colors we will need to give. Then we have sizes. And at the last we have offer deal to get a better understanding. Let me add one more color. Now I have added one more color and inside this color. I have added two more product variations one for women category and one for men category as we can see here red 30 red M. Now we know what all we will send. Let's have a look at this HTML on our category page. If we scroll down, I'm using a include template tag that will include my category filter dot html inside this page. We can directly put the form here, but it is too long and I wanted to keep it separate. So if we go to category filter on this page in the last section, we have seen how to provide all the subcategories and colors and sizes. What we need to keep in mind is this is a for loop and we are using only one division, which means if there are multiple subcategories, each subcategory will have the same name but each category will have different value. So what will happen is if we are using a request.post or request.get, we will get the same name, but we will get a list of all the values. So this is about subcategory coming to price. We have this input of type text. So I will take this minimum value for maximum value. Also, we have this input type text, which will have the name maximum value. I am using a simple script so that I can put this range value into text value. So if we are changing this range, we are automatically updating the value in this text type. Coming down, we have colors and the same logic goes for color. Each loop will have different value, but same name. Then we have sizes and at the last we have default or on offer. Here I will change the name and value of this input which will look something like this. I will call it offer filter and value is equal to false. So what will happen is since this is a radio button, we will get only one of the values. So I'm using a same name offer filter for both of them. Let's copy this paste it here. And for value, I will make true here. True. So what I was saying is we will be getting only one of these values. So I will use the same name that is offer filter. If we are getting this, which means user don't want products that are on offer. If we are getting this, it will give us true meaning user will want the products that are on offer. Now we know the logic behind this filter. Let's make our view in view.py below the sort category view. I will make a new class based view. I will say class filter category view here. I will make a list view and again. There are more than one ways of achieving something. If you want to make function based views, you can make that. If you want to make simple view here, you can use that. As this is a class based view, let me put some different things here, which are these. I will take the model of product variation. A context object name is page object, which is in sync with all the other views. Then I, we have the template, which is category page. For extra context, again, I'm giving subcategories, color and sizes that are all. And again, I was not able to provide pagination for this. So I'm using this no pagination context to not show page one of one at the end. Now comes the main part. We will override the get query set method here. It will take self. Why we are overwriting this is in list view. It will use get query set method to get all the objects that are in this product variation and it will make a list of them inside this get query set method. First of all, let me show you what all we will get in our self.request.get. We will print this. 
we are going to check print statement for now but we will complete this so let me make a url path for this in our urls.py under this i will make a path like this which will be filter filter category view and i am giving a name of filter category i will copy this go to our category filter on the top of the form for action i will put the url as url we are in product i want filter category for method we will say get here we are getting the error of list view not defined so let's import list view in our views.py on the top after create view we will import list view save this and let's check our browser we are on all categories page here we will get more than one subcategory so i will select both of them we will keep the price as it is then let me select a color and let me select sizes here i will say on deal and let's submit this here we are getting no products found because we have not yet returned any products from our filter view but we will see our terminal to see what we are getting in the request.get in our terminal we can see we are getting a query dictionary we are getting csrf middleware token this is a hidden field and it is provided by default then we have this subcat and we can see here we are getting the subcategories as a list for minimum value we are getting one value maximum value we are getting one then we are getting colors since we have selected only one color so we are getting one in a list then we have size as we have selected more than one size and we are keeping the same name so we are getting a list of sizes at the last we have offer filter that is true means customer wants products that are on offer or sale so this is the data that we will be getting from our request.get before we continue with our get query set method there is one more logic we need to understand that is on our filter if we are providing any subcategory then we will use that subcategory in our filter otherwise what we will do is we will assume that user wants products from all the subcategories and we will do same with color and sizes also if user is selecting something that means user wants something specific to that color if he is not selecting something that means he does not care about the color or size or subcategory and we can search in all the things we will use this logic for subcategory color and sizes because we have the option to send any category or not but for price and offer we will always have something for default now let's continue making our query set in views.py here i will replace this print statement with this code let me show you what it means this doc string just explains what i have just said after this we will see if we are getting any subcategory from our page or not so we will say self dot request dot get list as i have told you that we will be getting a list of subcategories if we are selecting multiple things so we will use get list instead of get to get the list and if it is blank then we will say category and subcategory will be a list where we are getting all the objects of category and same with subcategory if this is not blank meaning customer is providing something so we will take out the subcategory list from request.get list and from this subcategory list we will extract category and subcategories after this condition we will have our list of categories and list of subcategories it can be one object or more than one object then we are doing same with the color we will get the list of colors that we are submitting through request.get if it is blank we will take all the color codes that are objects of color and make it a list else if we are getting any values from request.get we will make a list of that and use it same we are doing with the sizes if we are not getting anything we will make a list of all the available sizes else we will take the list that is provided by request.get after this as i have mentioned that we will always have a minimum value maximum value and offer and these are single values so i will use request.get.get we are taking minimum value maximum value and offer filter now we have all the information that we can use to filter our products so what we will do is we will use product variation model and i will use filter on this 
and the filter will look something like this it is a big filter here we are taking help of this Q Q is basically used when we want to make a complex filter let me show you the documentation real fast here in the documentation of making queries for Django we can see we have Q objects that can help us in complex lookup we can import it from Django DB models this object will behave like a single filter and we can club two three four filters using these operators which is and or or example is here there are two filters and we are separating them with the or operator so just like this on our views.py we are using the object q for making complex filter so this is one filter and inside this filter i am using the product relationship of this object and inside product i am checking for category inside category we have name and at the last we are using underscore underscore in because I will be checking name of this category inside a list therefore underscore underscore in and this cat is a list of categories whether it is coming from request.get or we are using logic to get all the categories after this filter we are using a comma which behaves like an and operator so if we are using Q comma Q which means the filter has to satisfy both of these conditions here I am asking for subcategory again I am using underscore underscore in to check for subcategory in a list then I am checking for color code then size and for price I am using price underscore underscore GTE which means greater than or equal to so we want products that have the minimum value or above for maximum value we are using less than or equal to so we are asking for products that is equal to the maximum value or less than the value and at the last we are looking for products that are on sale or not so if it is true we will get products that are on sale and if it is false we are getting products that are default or not on sale here we will get all the list of objects using this filter and we are returning these objects which is basically the query set of our list view let's save this and check our browser let me filter out this for men let me make it minimum value of 0 and search here we should get products that are related to men round neck t-shirt subcategory so if we see we have hulk t-shirt hulk t-shirt hulk t-shirt but both are in different colors the sizes are different which means our filter is working let's test it one more time now we will say women and I want it for red color let's make it zero let's keep all the sizes we will keep the offer as default because we have not put any product on sale so if I apply filter we should get women jeans which is in red color here we can see we have women red color we did not apply for any size so we are getting all the sizes that are available since we only have one product like this so we are getting one product with this I can say that our filter is working properly in this section we have made our category page we have used search view sort view and filter view and we have also made some changes to our navigation and this breadcrumbs bar I think this is a good point to conclude our video in the next video we will see the product detail page so stay tuned for that leave a thumbs up if you like the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and push the notification bell to not miss out any videos we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is home we're taking your leave adios